Hi, I'm Hank Patterson, foodie and world-renowned fly fishing expert and guide. Today's what would Hank do question comes from Benjamin. Benjamin, that's cool, in Ketchup Can, Alaska. Says, Hank, what are your thoughts on the proposed pebble mine near Bristol Bay here in Alaska? That's a big time question, Benjamin. I appreciate you asking it. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of the pebble mine issue, basically it's this. You got a bunch of money hungry stuffed shirt douchebags who want to put in a giant, festering, ginormous open pit mine right above Bristol Bay, which is one of the world's largest, if not the largest, salmon run habitats in the world. Okay, now there are about a thousand or two thousand or like a million different environmental reasons why fly fishers such as myself don't think that the pebble mine is a good idea. But the elephant in the room, okay, the pachyderm in the room, what nobody's talking about is this. Why the f would anybody want to mine for pebbles? I hate pebbles. Everybody hates pebbles. You ever get a pebble in your boot? You got to sit down, take your boot off, shake the thing out, put your boot back on, lace it up, completely ruins your day. I've got a pebble path in my backyard. It goes from the garage uh, over to the patio. I can't have bare feet in my own backyard because of those pebbles. Then they're always getting out in the grass. I go to mow the yard. They get sucked up into the blade. They start shooting out of there like BBs. I put my own dog's eye out. I have a one-eyed dog because of pebbles. My neighbor lost his cat. So the question that you got to ask yourself is, what sort of sick individual wants to go up there and mine for pebbles? These are the type of guys that have big private dinners where they all sit around and the main course is an endangered species. Sort of guys that buy $65,000 jacked up 4x4 trucks that will never, ever, never, ever leave the pavement. They love to eat bald eagles and panda bears and stewed rhino horn. You sit around at dinner, they tell you about their $55 million second home vacation cabin home, and then they leave a 2.5% tip. They don't drink martinis, they drink apple teenies. Sort of guys always bragging about how much hot sauce they can drink. Guys who will entertain a monetary offer on their own children. Poachers. Guys that get their jollies going out poaching. They love to poach, especially at a zoo. Guys who spend about $1,200 a week getting fake tans at the tanning salon. They don't have barbers. They have stylists. They love cherry wine coolers. Guys that are always saying, I know, right? So a couple weeks ago, I'm reading this article in a magazine with one of these guys, and he says something along the lines of, uh, there's a less than whatever percent chance that the mine would ever breach and contaminate the waters of Bristol Bay. And so I decided to send him a letter. I said, hey, I'd like to invite you to my home. I'm gonna take a bounty paper towel. I'm gonna drape it over your open mouth, and then I'm gonna pee on it. Right now, Bounty, being a hell of a paper towel, they're going to tell you that there's a less than whatever percent chance that my urine would ever end up in your mouth. Now, if you're willing to take me up on that, I'm willing to sit down and talk to you about your mind. Uh, he never called me. He never emailed me. So at this point, I got to say, uh, I'm anti-pebble mine.